So the burial for the late Prince Mangasutu Botelezi is going to be taking place this coming Friday. There are a lot of traditions uh, to go through on that pathway uh, to Friday. We'll bring you more of that a little bit later. The IFP founder was Home Affairs Minister, by the way, after 1994. And then in 1997, the then President Nelson Mandela named him acting president uh, during an absence when Mandela was not uh, in the country. He's the only leader of an opposition party to act as president in democratic South Africa. But there's been mixed feelings about his leadership style and also his role in South Africa's history. Let's bring in uh, Professor Henning Malba uh, from the University of uh, Pretoria, the Department of Political Sciences. Prof, but today we find you in Uppsala uh, in Sweden. Good morning, Prof. So let me ask you this relating to your article and answer the question for me. Uh, is Mangusutu Butelezi a saint or a stooge? Good morning. Good morning, Gareth, and good morning, listeners. He's neither nor. And what I find very puzzling is to follow their obituaries since Saturday because they simply underline that he was a very polarizing, contradictory, dividing person. He still is after death, as you can see in the very contradicting appraisals or non-appraisals of his political career. He was both. He was a Democrat and he was a perpetrator. He had blood on his hands. So what it also underlines is that South Africa remains a very divided society until the very day, even if Butelesi himself would be the first to have claimed that he's a unifier. What difference do you think he made to our political landscape, Prof? It depends on the times in which he played different roles. As the leader of one of the notorious Bantustans in the 1970s, he was a spanner in apartheid policy. He was a pain for the nationalist government because he used his role as Bantustan leader to object to the fake uh, sovereignty the apartheid regime planned in so-called separate development. So that was the point where strategically he played a very important progressive role in South African politics. But with the ANC gaining more influence in South Africa during the 1980s, his anti-communist sentiments and his own desire for power played out against a unifying policy and he became increasingly divisive to the extent that the reinvented tradition of Inkata was used as a power base to trigger massacres which were bordering to a civil war until at the last minute in the 1990s, Butelesi did a U-turn and was willing to join the first democratic elections. Now, people praise him for that. Others highlight his role where Inkata was basically responsible for the deaths of up to 20,000 people. And interesting enough, if we look at the appraisals we find in South Africa today, they are very selective. They either highlight the one or the other side. And coming back to your question, he was neither a saint nor he was only a puppet. Would you say that he was one not to be praised for human rights in our country and even civil liberties? The severe critics of Butelezi will say that he completely moved away from the ideals of human rights and civil liberties. Would you agree with that, Prof? I would partly agree. The moment he was basically having access to political power, and you mentioned that in your introduction, he was the only opposition politician who was in the highest rank of the democratic South African state. The moment he had this access to power based on his regional Zulu anchored identity and politics, he played along. So he could be very contrastic, uh, constructive at times when it served his own desire for power. Uh, that's the complexity of Butelesi, which is not really captured fully in many of the obituaries. What we follow, in my view, is a disarray of history. 
the way he is painted in the public from most of the contradictory perspectives. How do we then, as I say goodbye to you, Prof, how do we as a country then try and, and bracket uh, Mangosuta Botelezi? Is it even fair to try and bracket him as a good politician or a bad politician? How would you, uh, for someone who wasn't perhaps around during the early days uh, of IFP and the early years post apartheid uh, South Africa, how would you try and bracket him? How would you describe him? Well, to answer your question, I think it's very difficult to find only a good politician or only a bad politician. Politics is both in most cases. There are hardly any saints. There are hardly only perpetrators. So he is both. And the complexity of his politics, the good things, the bad things, the ugly things, they should be a form of paying respect to a person by bringing them all up in an effort to find a balanced view. Prof, I'm going to say thank you very much indeed for your time. Uh, all the way from Uppsala in Sweden. I hope I said that correctly. Professor Henning Malba. Uh, from